Hello, this video is a short description of what a silhouette sign is in radiology. It's something you'll commonly come across when you're reading chest x-rays. So let's start with a definition of what a silhouette is. So a silhouette is an edge, and you normally see it on a chest x-ray because you have an air soft tissue interface. And the reason you have this interface is because of the density differences. On radiographs, there are really five dominant densities. The first is air. See it here in the lung, we see it here in the bowel. The second more dense is fat. We don't really see any on the chest here, but we can see a little bit running down the lateral side of the abdomen here. The next is soft tissue density, the liver here, the mediastinum here. The next dense is bone, the tubal bodies, ribs. And then finally, metallic densities like this coin here, which has been swallowed by this child. We therefore see edges because there's a difference in density between two areas. So we see this edge here on the lateral side of the heart because there's a difference in density between the heart and the lungs. We see this edge here of the liver because there's a difference in density between the liver and the adjacent bowel, or between here, the metallic object and the adjacent soft tissues, and we see the edges of a rib because there's a difference between the calcific density of the rib and the overlying soft tissue. Now with radiography, these density differences mean that we can easily see the difference between air and soft tissue or fluid. We can see the differences between calcium and bone and soft tissue, fluid and air. However, we may not be able to see the differences between soft tissue or fluid and fat because those density differences are much less and radiography is less sensitive to density differences than CT. With CT, we're very sensitive to small differences in density and depending on how we window the images, we can easily see the differences between fat and fluid and muscle and even much more subtle density differences than that. So let's come back here to the term silhouettes. Where do we see silhouettes on a chest x-ray? Well, we see the silhouettes of both hemidiaphragms. We see those on both the frontal chest x-ray and the lateral chest x-ray. We see the silhouettes of the heart, the right heart border here, the left heart border here. We see of the right side of the mediastinum. So this is the base ending aorta there, for example. We see the aortic notch. We see the lateral side of the descending aorta. On the lateral chest x-ray, we see the posterior aspect of the heart, we see the anterior aspect of the heart and the anterior aspect of the ascending aorta. We can see the aorta, the posterior, part of the posterior, and most of the anterior border of the aorta throughout. So these are normal air soft tissue interfaces or normal silhouettes that we should be able to see. Now let's look at four hypothetical situations. So the gray circles here are objects. And let's, for um, illustrative purposes, call this the mediastinum and this an area of pneumonia within the lung. And the black stuff here is all A. So in this example here, let's call this number one, we can see the silhouette all the way around the pneumonia. And more importantly, we can see the silhouette all the way around the mediastinum because there is no interruption of that normal air soft tissue interface. Now, situation number two, the pneumonia is a little closer to the mediastinum, but it just about touches it, but we can still see that normal silhouette of the mediastinum because it still has air all the way around it. Let's look at example number three. Now, in example number three, the pneumonia is behind the mediastinum. So it doesn't touch the mediastinum, but it's, um, it's behind the mediastinum. So we can still see that normal silhouette of the mediastinum because there's still air up against it. We can see the edge of the pneumonia at the back because it still has air up against it. And then there's this area in between that looks denser, so-called double density because the x-rays are having to travel through two substances of additive density. Now, in example number four, that pneumonia here is right up against the mediastinum, and there is no air between the pneumonia and the mediastinum. 
So you no longer have a silhouette, and this is the silhouette sign. So the silhouette sign is the loss of the normal air soft tissue interface when the air has been replaced by something that is of soft tissue density. It's not specific for what that is. It could be pus in pneumonia. It could be blood in the area of hemorrhage. It could be a mass for tumor, or it could be pleural fluid. I always think it's kind of a misnomer, to be honest, and it probably should be called lack of normal silhouette sign because you're taking away the normal silhouette. Now, where we see that silhouette sign can help us identify what lobe the abnormality is in. So if we lose the normal diaphragmatic silhouette on either side, in either of the views, that is because of an abnormality in either the right lower lobe or the left lower lobe. If we lose the right heart border, that is because of something going on in the right middle lobe. The left heart border, because of something going on in the left upper lobe. If we lose the ascending aorta, that is the right upper lobe process. Same with up here into the right paratracheal area. The aortic notch, again, that's a left upper lobe process. On the lateral chest x-ray, the posterior border of the heart is if we have something going on in the left lower lobe. The ascending aorta here is because we have something going on in the right upper lobe. And the descending aorta, again, because of a left lower lobe process. And that same left lower lobe process will make us lose that paraaortic line on the frontal chest x-ray. So seeing what silhouette you've lost is going to tell you what lobe the pathology is in. So let's just look at a couple of examples here. Here's a patient with a dense area of consolidation, which was due to a pneumonia involving their left upper lobe. Let's look first of all at the CT scan here. So we have this large area of consolidation. You can see some air bronchograms within it in the left upper lobe, and you can see there is no air here between the left heart border and that area of consolidation. So we've lost the silhouette, and this is shown here on the, this is the uh, um, original scan from the patient's CT scan, but it would look the same on a chest x-ray. Here's that area of opacity, and you can see here that we've lost the normal silhouette of the left heart border. But notice how you're still seeing the left hemidiaphragm here. I'll just rub that out so that you can see it better. And that's because the left lower lobe, which abuts the left hemidiaphragm, is not involved. Let's just show you one more example. So this is a patient who has a very large mass that is involving the right middle lobe. This turned out to be a large adenocarcinoma. And you can see how you've Again, lost that air soft tissue interface on the right heart border. So it's going to have lost its silhouette. Let's look at the chest x-ray here. Here's that mass almost completely involving the right middle lobe. And again, here's your silhouette sign. We've lost that right heart border. It tells us it's in the right middle lobe. Now, just one thing to note, this is also a right middle lobe process. And we know that because we see the horizontal fissure being outlined by an opacity below that fissure. That means it's got to be in the right middle lobe. And we see the characteristic triangular shape of the right middle lobe being opacified on the lateral chest x-ray. But in this case, we can clearly see that right heart border. So there is no silhouette sign here. And that's because in this patient, the area of pneumo pneumonia is involving the lateral segment of the right middle lobe but it does not extend into the area of the right middle lobe that abuts the right heart border. So there is still an air soft tissue interface there. So in other words, if you don't see a silhouette sign, it may be that the area of the lung that abuts that soft tissue structure has not been involved by the soft tissue process or the pneumonia process, depending on what's going on. I hope that helps. Um, thank you very much for listening.